Hey, what's going on guys? It's June again here. And today I'm going to be talking about what I'm going to do as far as the fuel delivery for the EG. And I will be putting the link down below so you know exactly where I got the parts from. Now, I don't know if some of you remembered, but I maxed out my fuel system last year. Um, the D16 made a little over 600 with the Volvo 450 rewired with a relay and a Bosch 2200cc injectors. And the last thing I don't want is to run out of fuel for next year. So I'm going to go through step by step with everything that I'm going to do uh, for the next build. So stick around. This in here, yes. And then they slide, the, they put this in here. So the machine shop cuts it all out. Okay, all this water that bolt on to here. He is drilling all of those out and he's he's tapping them bigger and he's putting a metal sleeve inside thread. So now when we crank the bolts down. See the thread? Look at it. See it? Just a bit bigger. So this is a one and a half. See how nice it fits? How smooth? Yeah. So the goal is to build an 800 horsepower street registered car on pump gas. Something that will be capable of running uh, nines and a quarter and then uh, drive it home. And here I have the replacement OEM tank with a half inch steel sump tank and this will enable me to run the external uh, fuel, fuel pump uh, which will be a MagniFuel and as some of you already know we needed to drill five holes in the tank before we welded this in and we've also made some modifications on the stock hanger and this allows us to use the original feed as a return and we've eliminated the, the stock um, return on here and we've also eliminated the sending unit as I will be using a switch panel for the fuel pump and if you look in the back you'll you'll see the reason why I decided to run the feed as a return and eliminated the smaller original return line and another reason why I've decided to run the feed as the return is that it allows me to put the carburetor back on without any problem which I would be able to do otherwise if I would have welded a fitting on top of here. Now you don't have to do all this um, you could simply just do a full-blown dual hanger um, but in my case I figured I might as well just go sump and just get it over with. And here I have the rest of the fuel setup which consists of the Edelbrock, uh, the Proplo FI, and um, the Pro Series MagnaFuel 625 um, and then definitely a good fuel regulator which is A1000 uh, air motive and uh, 80 micron inline uh, Dashworks F F70 and just a bunch of other lines um, inline fittings that I'm gonna have to use oh and by the way I'd like to thank my buddy Mike for helping me out with the fuel tank fabrication and shout out to my buddy Alex Little at Spooltech Performance in Indiana for hooking it up with the fuel tank and my buddies at 1.6 Motorsports uh, for helping out with all the other fuel stuff that I needed. Uh, check them out at valixracing.com. So that's it for today guys and hopefully I provided enough information to possibly help you guys out in your future fuel needs and I'll see you guys out on the next video.